The staff as a whole, these guys are unbelievable. Noah Syndergaard. Power pitcher with a pretty decent fastball control. Guy's got an electric fastball. He's got pretty good velocity on it. It's around 94, 95. I've, I've heard I've hit triple digits. My curveball is developing right now, so I mean, it's gotten a lot better than it was last year. Just because it's developing right now doesn't mean I'm, I'm afraid to throw it at all. But I take a lot of, a lot of pride in throwing my changeup. Uh, last year was a two-strike pitch for me, and I got a lot of strikeouts from it. He's a horse out there. You know, he works hard. Um, he's got great stuff. He's got, uh, you know, he's got a great future ahead of him. The Hulk. Uh, big kid. I like him. Good to be around. Uh, I'm a fan of him. He's really quiet and reserved, but uh, it seems like once he gets out there, he, he kind of let the line out of the cage a little bit, and he just goes and does his thing. Jacob DeGrom. Silent assassin. You see a guy up there with a nice loose arm angle and then that ball gets on me in a hurry. You know, I'm kind of new to pitching. I played shortstop in college and then halfway through my junior year is when I started pitching. And I got drafted as a pitcher and got hurt. Uh, I did rehab with Johan, and uh, he taught me a couple things. Just being around the guy who's been in the big leagues for a while, you know, you can learn from them pretty quick. And hopefully people see that, that I'm a competitor and, you know, try to win every game. <laughs> Jake is uh, Jake's a funny dude, on and off the field. Um, you know, between the lines, though, he's, he's uh, real serious. He bears down. Um, real good sinker, real good slider. He wants the ball. He wants to be out there as long as possible. One word just comes to mind, and it's Fungo. Nah, man. His nickname's just Fungo because he's skinny. Just because I'm skinny, you know, like a Fungo bat. So, we started that, and, you know, I'm fine with it. I'm so over. The first thing that comes to mind is competitor. Mixes his stuff well. He'll throw any pitch in any count. He's not afraid to do it. Um, run that fastball up there, 95. Uh, real good changeup, real good slider as well. Not afraid to come in up in under their hands and stuff, and uh, you know, brush them back. Robles is a tough one because he really doesn't say too much. Robles is a quiet guy. Um, seems like a good guy on on and off the field. I don't really know much about him. Hot's so hot right now. Domingo Tapia. Another horse, man. He, he wants to be out there. He wants the ball, and he'll be out there all night. Also throws hard with tremendous movement. He's really coming into his own, and you're starting to see how he how he's starting to pitch the hitters. He was really raw, you know, a couple of years ago, and now he's starting to you know realize how to set guys up and how to uh, how to make his pitches work even better. Luis Mate. Bulldog. Throws hard and got a really good slider. He's got an unbelievable slider. And he likes to throw a lot. Runs that fastball up there, 95, 96, and uh, you know, he's a strikeout machine. Composure on the mound. Uh, who, who impressed me the most with his, his composure is, is Mateo. Coming in, you know, we're, we have a great staff. Everybody throws hard here. It puts a little pressure on you, and you just want to go out there and perform and live up to the expectation. All these guys compete, and they want to win, and they want to do their best to win. I could see, I could see every one of these guys being in a big league rotation one day, and that's not and that's not sugarcoating. These guys all have big league stuff. They all have big league potential. They all have that mentality that hey, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to get every single guy. Even if a guy gets on here or there, that you know, there's no panic in their demeanor, in their body language, or, or in their mindset, and they're going to go after everybody no matter what.